Hi boys. Good morning. How are you this morning? Hey Tony. 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 You wanna say good morning? And as you can see, it is so clear. <laughs> and almost no breeze, just a slight breeze. So we are going to head up to one of our favorite spots to eat. It has a very scenic view from the porch. Isn't that rocky? Isn't that? On the side of a big mountain overlooking the lake. And let's get into some delicious food where we are there, Christiana. We are at my favorite part of the whole trip. We are at Hog Wild BBQ and Catfish House. And as you can see, a beautiful view. That is from the front porch of this place. And it has a really eclectic menu, huh? And uh, our dogs are able to sit in the shade over there. They choose to sit in the sun. They also have a water dish. They choose to sit in the sun. Yeah. Yeah, I laid that towel and put it in the blanket area, blanketed uh, the shaded area. They just yeah, inched like out the like Skinny likes to be in the sun. So we'll bring you back and show you what we ordered. Ooh, oh. So what are you eating there? This is their brisket poppers. So it's jalapeno pieces of brisket and cheese in there and you dip it in there blueberry something something sauce i don't know yeah it tastes really good though it's like blueberry barbecue mm, that looks tasty is it tasty delicious is it delicious yeah, 10 out of 10 Everything to use 10 out of 10. Cool. Oh, that does look good though. Some super happy birds. Okay, so tell me what you're doing right now. What you got, honey? I got two fried catfish fillets, white okra. Put your hand over there and show me how big those catfish fillets are. That's, my hands are very <laughs> small, so that's not really accurate. You already talked about them? Yeah, those are some big flesh. Here? You got breaded okra. Yes, Lord. And tater salad. You love that tater salad, don't do. you? And look at your burger. Here. Some baked beans. Flame grilled bug. Cheeseburger fry. No fries.
the forest on the top of a mountain going down a trail with my best buddies tiny and skinny and my best buddy Nani be careful you hold that you can film on me For those bushcraft people that are watching our video, if you are, the only thing in my bag basically is emergency stuff. I don't know what genus that is, but it looks really cool, huh? But it's on an incredibly large tree, so it's not good. And generally, fungus means trouble for the tree. And uh, that is a long ways down. You can't really see it from this video but we are way up. There's a set of mountain range on the other side, which apparently you cannot see. It's on the other side of that gorge down there. I'm pretty sure we're only like 4,000 feet up or something. Well, you want to take a picture? No. Come here. I don't know if anybody can tell me why dogs eat grass, but that's crazy. But I thought you'd bring me along if we get some killer views or anything trash or madge happens, as Hayes would say. We'll get back with you. So we just have to show you this. Look at this beautiful carpeted area. Just moss. And Christiana, what is this right here that we're at? It's a chapel. It's a chapel in nature. Just out here in the woods. It even has a beautiful graveyard beside, I'm assuming this is a marigold. Ain't this the marigold tree? What's the tree that drops the big giant leaves? I don't know. It has the big, well anyway, somebody out there knows what I'm talking about. This is inside the chapel. Stone, mountain stone floor. And someone has put some rocks, painted rocks, and apparently that's a collection. Somebody's made a beautiful cross. Looks like somebody's taking care of it every day. Just out here in the middle of the woods. On the side of a mountain. And it sounds like there's a river not too far away down there and that is the Nantahala River so, Adelville Falls holy cow
got it closed oh, and safe. Was your donuts good? Donuts. Yes, they were delicious. <sighs> I'm videoing you. Oh, okay. videoing and then I can snap some screenshots from the video got a little man in the boat you talking about hard to do and that's paddle and video my oar to steer more than paddle there we go works a lot better 
there's another set of mountains we're paddling away from the sun and then inspecting expecting to turn around a little bit I love the color the way it does on your back. Yeah. yeah. You look like a Goldilocks with your piggy tails. Just a man and his doge. Sailing off into the sunset. You smoking. <laughs> Stay right there for a second. I'll go paddle up to you. You probably flew into their little area there. Look, they're back. They're here. Hey, I'm videoing you. Oh. <laughs> Gizmo, she got to act different now. So what you doing? Hey, stay. <laughs> it's a good one. No, no, please don't get off. Oh, oh Cece's going to lose his mind. Holy cow, dude! You're... Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I'm not pedaling. Oh. oh, I see him, dude! I see him. He's like, look at him. Or your pole sucks. <gasps> see, see, he got him. Oh, Licky! Lick, 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 lick. One more night, huh, Rabbit? <clears throat> Found some new areas today. What? We got the food deck. Yeah. Our arch nemesis. Well, I just got them pictures you sent me. Really? Yeah. Why is that so dark? It's dark outside. I know, but when I turn to them, it's like nighttime. It's got a lot to do with white balance. Is your best friend? Mm hmm. Wow, I can't believe that sunset did that. What camping video would be truly complete if you didn't have a gratuitous fire? I have made fire! Mr. Hot Dog Sandwiches last night. Oh, yeah. I didn't video. Well, there's a lot of stuff I didn't video. But as Hayes would say, you know what? You just got to live life sometimes. You can't always just be filming it. And I tend to do that. So here is just the fire. And I don't 
play around when it comes to fire. And all these people building fire and showing that they can build fire. I like that, I appreciate that. But before this bushcraft and YouTube was famous, I was, I don't know, 10 years old. The fire was out. My mom was asleep. And I went in the living room and built the fire in the fireplace. Generally, we had matches and a little bit of uh, paper. But I always took kindling and busted it down pieces like that and busted it even further down and shaved off some pieces wow that's a serious fire cousin yeah, no doubt. Pieces are definitely warm. I wonder what's so hot in that one this time that pine is uh, resinous Popping off a lot of sparks. But once that hardwood takes hold. I wonder which part's smoking. Is it the pine that I just put in there? As Matthew Poser would say, that is a fire. And the lake is just right over there. You can't see it with this camera, but it's cloudy and there is three quarter plus moon. And it's probably, how many degrees is it? Yeah. Sixty. Sixty degrees. Perfect camping weather. Donnie's packing skills is over nine thousand. She can make a tent disappear in a minute. Wonderful job, Rabbit. Wonderful job. I'll show you. I left them a little wood right there. And then a surprise down there. I made that uh, table out of wood and stick, just a bushcraft table. And uh, when somebody goes down to enjoy the sunset, they will see that. You guys ready to go? Yeah. What's the tea doing? Sleeping. What's the doing, tea? Tea. All right. Say goodbye, North Carolina. Bye. Have a great time. Driving by the Okoe. It just stopped. I guess they got construction going on, so they're letting some traffic through. We get to just sit here and look at this. And my gorgeous pins. That's so pretty. We're at the Okoe Center. Water's flowing, but not as much as it could be. As 
going pretty good though. Mm -hmm. 